Oh, we're here at the lovely VP Auto Collision, Forestville Air Park. Beautiful day at the Jeepster. And this is what I uh, painted yesterday for one of my clients. Action. Bring it on out, brother. Don't walk in front of me. No, I won't. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Go on, I'll be back. Until I didn't get the rest of the parts. There it is. Nineteen fifty six Nomad Resto Rod. What do you think, Mr. Paul? You like it? Yep, twenty five years in the making. <laughs> How much longer till it'll be it put together? <laughs> what do you what Another do you, five years probably. No, what do you say? What's your ETA? Two end years. of summer? Before the end of the summer. Yeah. You got a lot of work, brother. Day and night. And plenty of other hurdles. Oh yeah. There's going to be problems. Oh, I'm sure we have a couple issues of assembly, but it looks good. It turned out real nice. Backyard engineering. <laughs> and lovely Baldwin, right? Baldwin backyard engineering. And we don't even know what we're doing. We're just guessing. <laughs> <laughs> Driven by pure desire. And the want to have a wicked bad rod. <laughs> All right, look at that shot. Look at the cloud reflection on the roof. Oh, it's cool. It just looks like a mirror. The, looks weirdest, the weirdest sport utility vehicle in the area. I think it was the first SUV, wasn't it? Or was it the first grocery getter that had a very large V8? Yeah, probably the, probably the 51 Suburban was the first. Yeah, I think that would be. It looks really good, man. I'm going to go in here and I'll show you the... We did it in two stages. We did the car first, sprayed it, baked it. Since this shop has a, the uh, this shop actually has a spray bake booth, the Global Ultra, and these are it's many pieces to the said vehicle outside. Look at that color. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Pure American muscle. And of course, it gets the big chrome moldings down the sides, <clears throat> and it gets the. This one's different because it has uh, a wingman on the each fender. It has a little plane, and on the front of this, of course, it gets the Chevy up here and the Bel Air. But up here it gets, it looks like an eagle on the front and a jet on the back and then on each wing would have the wingman. And then we have the doors, they've been painted completely all, all the way around. Both sides, nice and smooth, got a nice finish on it. Now this is not like a trailer queen or nothing like that, this car will be driven and driven hard. The gentleman that I did the car for writes for a local uh, hot rod magazine. He's a graphic artist. And uh, we were going to do it in the fall. One thing led to another. And we got winter. There's a portion I'm also doing too. 65 911. It'll be done next week. Um, so we do a little bit of everything here at uh, Someone to See's channel. A little shooting, a little camo, a little world history, a little American history. And, uh,. Again, custom ride work. So, eat your heart out, chip foos. We didn't mud it from one end to the other. <laughs> we fixed the metal right, then painted it. So, we get the crew out here again one more time. <laughs> but fortunately, it was on the, the interior yes. side. Yes. Oh, my God. That was, was like... the peanut butter side up? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, it was the peanut butter side up, thank the Lord. <laughs> it's Adobe white. And what's the color on the top? It's Adobe beige and fire thorn pearl. Look at that. I mean, it just like... It's very similar to the... Um, um, they had a um, bronze and cream stock combination. Mm-hmm. 
Now, he didn't, for all you uh, purists, this car was actually an aqua with a uh, white overlay. And it was just wretched. So. It was seafoam green. Seafoam green. And and dune beige, yeah, that sounds real nice, doesn't it? So we got, and the dash is, we did the dash all different color. So we're going to start assembly. Uh, that's all on Paul. My job's done here. I did the paint work and the prep, and we a one more shot of the color on the roof. And then the shot of the side. So definitely how the pros do it. It's a peace out guys. And keep your ride on its wheels.